Hi guys! It's currently 7 o'clock um, on Thursday, December 17th. It's been quite a day. It's been a really good day. It's been a really, really good day. I had an interview with a potential assistant today. It went so well. I was so freaking nervous. I really, really hope it works out. I've got two more interviews tomorrow. I was supposed to have one tonight, but I never heard from her after I followed up. And I honestly, I just have so much going on right now that like I can't even add in. I don't have any room to interview her before the holidays. It's Thursday before like Christmas break, whatever you want to call it. I got a brand coming up. I have to film a video tonight. Um, there's all this stuff going down with Taylor Swift and like, Swifties making up this domestic abuse cry for help in terms of Taylor Swift on the Jimmy Kimmel interview and it's really really upsetting to people who actually are victims of domestic abuse. By the time you see this vlog, you'll you'll see the whole video. You will have know the whole video that's going up. That's the video I'm going to film tonight that will also be a brand deal, so I need to get that approved and I need to write that script and film that ASAP. But before I can do that, I need to have my like space a little bit better. So now, this is my mattress topper and it is fully ready to be mattressed as a verb. So I thought I would show you guys this. Cause now I have my cozy earth sheets. I wear their pajamas constantly. Oh, that's soft. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 this is so soft. So what I have for you guys is a 50% off discount code in my description. Holy Jiminy Cricket, all the words that will get me demonetized. These are soft. Okay, 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 okay. You guys know that I don't like to share things that I don't actually like or believe in. <gasps> Can you even see how like soft these are? They're made of bamboo. They've got like a money back lifetime guarantee. Oh my God, Oprah knows how to pick them. Let's put this sucker on my bed. God, my room is such a mess right now. That's what I get for filming. I have this just lying on the ground from game night. Let's put these soft sheets on. I'm a little nervous that it's not gonna fit because my have a really, really thick mattress. Like I had to get deep pocket sheets last time, but when I was talking to them, they said that this would fit and it would be fine. So let's test it out. Oh my God, this is soft. Oh my God, this is like princess. <gasps> Do you guys like things like silk sheets and things like that? Cause I'm new to this world. How am I gonna know which way this is supposed to go? Okay. <gasps> oh. <gasps> wow guys, I'm gonna be living large in these sheets. Are you serious? What does this say? Premium fabric, viscose from bamboo fabric, machine wash cold. All right, all right. Oh, I'm excited. Nice sheets. Lauren's moving up in the world. How am I supposed to know? That just reminded me of that TikTok where they say, how are they gonna know? They're gonna know. How are they gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Does that, oh my God, it does, it reaches. Yay. Now let's see, did I do it right? Does this seem to fit? And it covers the whole thing. Oh my God, I'm about to be living like a queen. I wish you guys could feel this. What in the world? Is this the answer to all my problems? Soft sheets go down. Oh, it does go over. So I was nervous that I was gonna need the king, king sheets because of how thick my mattress is. But um, when I was talking to my contact at Cozy Earth, they were like, nope, if you have a queen, this should fit because they, they built it so that it would be good for two different sizes. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, 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 wow, this is really nice. So is it just me or am I a, the weirdo that doesn't really like top sheets because I'm just like, what's the point? It's gonna get stuck on things, but I'm gonna use this top sheet. It's got this like cozy earth, like medallion stamp on it. Fancy, fancy, oh my God. Am I now? Oh my God, I feel like a princess. Why? Why do sheets do that? Nope, wrong way, wrong way. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and what I love about this is that they're like, it's like temperature controlled. It's supposed to be like cooling or something. This is exciting. New bed, who dis? <laughs> this is amazing. Woo! This is great. Here 
here we go. Oh, oh my God, you guys. These are some great sheets. Are you kidding? Holy sheets. Ah, okay. <laughs> guys, this is, this is cozy. Cozy earth. Ha. Oh my goodness, I am stoked on this. I've never had such soft things. I thought that I bought these really soft sheets off of Amazon and they were really good, but then they started to pill after like three months of having them, which sucked. Yo, I'm stoked on this. I don't even know. I kind of think the pink and white look really good together. Can you see how soft this is? Like, can you even, can my camera pick up? Oh, it's just, they're really soft. Oh my God, yay. Click the link in my description if you want insanely cozy pajamas and insanely cozy sheets. And um, I have a 50% 50, 50 off coupon for you in the description. And they're also doing a holiday scratch off opportunity thingy right now where you can win extra stuff. So click the link in my description. It will have more info on it than I have at this current moment. But yay, yay. Ooh, this is, Lauren's moving up in the world. <laughs> Hello guys, it's been two, three days since you guys came with me to the store as I make my friends some matzo ball soup, chocolate covered matzah, and some latkes. Right now I'm currently making the matzo ball soup and because my friend Adrian Finch is gluten free, I am making an entirely separate matzo ball soup gluten free just for her and her boyfriend Nick. Kitchen smells great, wish you could smell it right now. Here we've got the regular matzo ball soup. I always like to include sliced carrots, egg noodles, got some lovely matzo balls. I'll give it a lovely little stir for you. This is Adrian's gluten-free matzo ball soup and it actually tastes pretty damn good. I needed to run to the store and get some gluten-free noodles to include in here and some more carrots. So I'm gonna go do that really quickly. I went to the dollar store and got all these little containers. Literally all of this was like $10, like every single one of these, including two more extras. So I'm thinking matzo ball soup in here. Lot cuz in these guys in this size and then chocolate covered matzah in this or maybe like a bag depending and then I was also going to include some hala but this hala is not very good I kind of wanted to do the hala rolls so now I might actually just keep this for me this is like called shorts shorts is hala and I was like oh what's your wish last name must be good it's okay not the best hala, so I'm gonna go back to the store and get those little like individual egg hala rolls. That'll be easier because my plan was to like slice this into individual little slices and then give them instructions like toast it. I took it out of the bag for like a second and it already started to get like a little bit hard, so I think hala rolls are the way to go. And then I went back to Party City today. I got some little Hanukkah cards. I'm just gonna write everyone like a little note how much I love them. And then some big old bags. They only had two bags that were in blue. And so the other one's gonna be um, white and orange, the unofficial colors of Passover, or <laughs> Hanukkah, Judaism, I don't know. I don't know. Matzo ball soup is about to be put away into containers and then I will start on the chocolate covered matzah and then the latkes. Look at that, the gang's all here. I think I got really good portions for all of them. Next up, I'm gonna make the chocolate covered matzo with my favorite Ghirardelli. I lined a pan with tin foil and I sprayed like cooking spray on it and then I'm going to line the matzo along it. I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so Adrian's matzo ball soup is done. You know, it's not that bad. I was kind of surprised how much I really thought the gluten-free noodles were gonna be a little bit gross, but it's really not. All right, now I have butter, brown sugar boiling in here, and I'm gonna pour it all over the matzo. I've never made this myself before, so I'm a little nervous. It should be fine, it'll be fine. Put the chocolate chips on it. It's starting to get melty, and then I'm gonna take a knife and or a spoon and just like smooth it out. I don't know if it's gonna be as good as Debbie Lippman's. I'm trying. I did just consult her <laughs> two seconds ago on the phone, but it's quite a Jewish food night here tonight. It's fun. I got all my soup containers. Look at this big guy. The whole thing of gluten-free soup fit in here. Adrian and Nick are going to love that.
And we're back into Hanukkah gift decorating. It's the next day, it's the next evening, it's Sunday. It's only 5.50, feels like 11 o'clock at night, but I'm gathering all the things. I'm writing out all the cards. I wanted to show you my little assembly line that I've got going on. Wow, look at them all standing here beautifully, beautifully. So we've got two hollow rolls, we've got matzo ball soup, we've got latkes individually wrapped for them, and my freaking specialty. You guys, this chocolate covered matzo turned out so freaking incredible that I'm making a second batch for myself because this, this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> right now, what I'm struggling with is I really have this idea to give them like a little individual things of like pineapple, or wow, applesauce and a little bit of sour cream because that's how you eat latkes. But I couldn't find containers that were small enough. And so right now I'm just like debating what I do with it. Like how do I transport this to them with a little bit of applesauce and sour cream? I wish I had like plastic shot glasses. Ooh, do I have jello cup things? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a dig around. Let's see how I can do this. All right. First bag is going out tonight. I did some poor planning. One of my, two of my friends that I was gonna drop it off tonight, they're not available, so they're gonna get their stuff tomorrow. But first bag down with my awkward cups full of, oh, I didn't even show you. You know how I said I was looking for a better vessel to transport my sour cream and applesauce? Well, what's better than a plastic cup? Brings you back to college, right? Right? And I wrapped it with like a little nice rubber band. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Who, me for getting to close out a vlog properly? No. No, that's not me, is it? I don't know. Thank you guys for watching today's vlog. If you enjoyed, please make sure you leave it a like, subscribe to this channel and my main channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.